The late, great Bill Russell had one of the greatest NBA careers of all time, bringing home 11 championships for the Boston Celtics. But even though life as a basketball player was pretty sweet for him, life growing up with his family was not so sweet. He had to deal with a lot of hardships growing up that helped mold him into the great player he would later become. I'm Jesse with Basketball Dive, and this is the story of Bill Russell's family. I've tried to live my life doing what I think is right, and for the right reasons. And I think that I did okay. William Felton Russell, or as he became known later, Bill Russell, was born in West Monroe, Louisiana on February 12, 1934. Those were the times of racial segregation and deep-rooted prejudice. Especially in the South, African Americans faced discrimination in every aspect of their lives, including housing, education, and employment opportunities. Growing up in such a hostile environment, the Russells had to overcome numerous challenges and struggles. Bill's father, Charles Russell, was an example of resilience and determination. Charles Russell was a Louisiana native who grew up in the brutally unequal conditions of the South in the beginning of the 20th century. As a laborer, he faced the harsh realities of racism daily, which deeply impacted his attitude and the ways that he raised his son. Charles would often tell stories of his experiences, using them as lessons to instill a sense of perseverance and hardiness in young Bill and his older brother Charlie. One of the stories from West Monroe that Bill Russell remembered most vividly was the story of his father trying to get served at a local gas station, only to be put on hold while the white customers were served first. This blatant act of discrimination outraged him, and he was about to leave in anger for another gas station, but the moment he was about to head out, he was held at gunpoint by the attendant and threatened with death if he didn't stay put. Charles was forced to stand there, humiliated and seething, while the white customers were prioritized. He had no choice but to wait his turn under the severe threat of violence. Understandably, Bill's father was actively looking for an opportunity to leave Louisiana and better his family's situation. When Bill was just seven years old, such an opportunity presented itself. World War II provided the Russells a way out of West Monroe. Because of the war, many black Americans were leaving Louisiana as they were required for service and work to help the country's war effort. This allowed the Russell family to relocate to a region which was relatively more progressive and offered better opportunities, which was the San Francisco Bay Area in California. In the city of Oakland, the Russells seemed to find a new beginning. Even though racial discrimination was still very prevalent, California didn't uphold the strict institutionalized segregation and racial laws as Louisiana did. Bill's father found work as a janitor, then at a paper factory, then as a truck driver, the kind of low-end jobs that society believed to be fit for black Americans at the time. However, this change of location didn't immediately end the Russell's struggles. Yes, the move allowed them to escape the rampant racism in the South, but the family still faced significant challenges. Life in the city was difficult and expensive. The Russells lived in poor neighborhoods, often grappling with the lack of basic amenities. They had to jump from one project home to another, battling poverty and striving to make ends meet. You can only imagine how hard it was, but believe it or not, it actually got worse from here. Bill Russell's family would face one of the biggest tragedies a family could ever face. But before we get too far into that, let's first go over the story of Bill Russell's mother. Also originally from Louisiana, Katie was stylish and beautiful. When she met with Charles, she would often dress up in her best clothes, in a subtle act of defiance against the negative stereotypes thrust onto black women at that time. One day, she was wearing a fancy dress outside, just walking down the streets of West Monroe, when she suddenly heard a policeman that demanded she stopped. The cop obviously had no reason to confront her, but he did so anyway, just because of Katie's beautiful dress. The officer aggressively informed her that she had no business being all dressed up like that, reflecting the irrational prejudices that prevailed during those times. He told her to immediately go home and remove the dress because he thought that only a white woman should wear such an outfit. This was another appalling example of the racist behavior that the Russell family had to endure in Louisiana. Yet these humiliating experiences did not break Katie's spirit. Instead, they shaped her into a strong, determined woman who taught her son the importance of dignity and self-respect. 
She was an essential figure in the young Bill's life, molding him into a focused and resilient individual, much like herself. Katie's determination in the face of adversity greatly influenced Bill Russell's later success in his life and basketball career. Bill Russell was a lot closer to Katie than to his father. She was his constant source of comfort and encouragement. Katie was the one who shared bedtime stories with young Bill, tales filled with hope, courage, and a sense of relentless determination. These stories sowed the seeds of resilience in his heart, something he would frequently draw upon in his journey. Unfortunately, tragedy was lurking around the corner for Bill. When he was 12 years old, his mother Katie caught a flu that turned out to be much more than just a seasonal ailment. It rapidly developed into pneumonia, which is a deadly condition, especially in those times. Due to poverty, they couldn't afford proper medical treatment and Katie's health continued to deteriorate. The family watched helplessly as this pillar of strength and hope gradually succumbed to her illness. Her death dealt a heavy heart blow to the Russell family, especially young Bill. He lost not just his mother, but also his primary emotional support. It was a traumatic event that left Bill reeling as he tried to process the anguish of losing the person he was closest to. As I mentioned, he was a deeply attached to his mother and her sudden loss created a void in his life that could never be filled. Despite the deep loss, Bill's father resolved to keep going. He had his family to take care of and no one else to lean on. Charles Russell worked even harder, taking up multiple jobs to provide for his two sons, Bill and Charlie. He eventually gave up the truck driver job and became a steel worker at a local shipyard to be closer to his sons and ensure their basic needs were met. Charles also had to take on the role of both parents, a task that proved to be immensely difficult. He wasn't just providing for their material needs, he had to be there emotionally for his sons, guiding them through their grief and offering support and love in the absence of their mother. This was a grueling period for the Russell family, made even more arduous by their continuing financial struggles and living conditions. And I have to tell you that Charles Russell did an incredible job. Not only did he manage to keep his family afloat during these tumultuous times, he also instilled in his sons a spirit of perseverance and strength. In fact, it was the lessons learned during this painful period that would shape Bill Russell as a man, and despite being closer with his mother before her death, Bill developed a deep admiration for his father later on and began calling him his childhood hero. And as for Bill's brother named Charlie, he was a few years older than Bill and was able to help Bill a lot in coping with the loss of their mother during their teenage years. And next up, I got more about him. Born in 1932, Charlie was two years older than Bill, but his age difference proved to be enough for it allowed Charlie to take on a more protectively elder brother role. They played basketball together since childhood, and it was Charlie who Bill got his competitive spirit from. Charlie Russell played at high school and at college level too. He even suited up for the Dons of the University of San Francisco for two straight seasons. After serving in Korea with the United States Army, Charlie earned a Bachelor of Science in English in 1959. Unlike his brother, he was not as talented at basketball, so he pursued a different career path. Charlie Russell became a writer. He penned numerous plays that gained some popularity, primarily for their exploration of civil rights movement, racism, and social change. His plays such as Five on the Black Hand Side were performed on Broadway and even translated into an acclaimed motion picture. While Charlie did not receive the same level of recognition as his younger brother, he managed to leave a lasting mark in his own right, and his contribution to literature and theater, particularly focusing on black narratives and struggles, was significant and impactful. Back to Bill Russell, though, he was able to leave a lasting legacy on the court, and it was time now for him to leave his legacy off the court as well, and that's a good segue to talk about his first wife, Rose Swisher. Rose Swisher was Bill Russell's college sweetheart as they met at the University of San Francisco where Bill was studying physical education and obviously playing basketball. And Rose was studying nursing. She was bright and a cheerful woman with deep brown eyes and a contagious smile that could easily light up a room. Born in 1936, she was just over a year younger than Bill and they made a truly good looking couple together. Wouldn't you agree? Bill and Rose got married in 1956, the same year he was drafted into the NBA. 
It was a joyous occasion marked by the excitement of starting a life together and the anticipation of Bill's promising basketball career. The young couple was eager to start their journey and look forward to their shared future. Their marriage saw the birth of three beautiful children, a daughter named Karen and two sons named William Jr. and Jacob. They were a tight-knit family, frequently appearing together at events and often spotted together in their neighborhood engaged in family activities. However, the demanding nature of Bill's NBA career started taking a toll on their relationship. The constant traveling for games and the intense schedule kept him away from home for extended periods, creating a rift between him and Rose. Despite their best efforts to mend things, the couple grew emotionally distant and eventually decided to separate in 1973, and their divorce was finalized that following year. Bill was single for a few years, but then he met his stunning beauty queen, Miss USA 1968, Dorothy Anstett. Dorothy, or Dee Dee Anstett, was born in 1947 as one of nine children in a middle-class family in Kirkland, Washington. Her father was a regular aircraft plant worker, and she grew up in a loving, but crowded household. Dee Dee was a natural beauty and was encouraged to participate in beauty pageants by her friends and family. This led to her competing in local pageants, eventually culminating in her participating in the Miss USA pageant in 1968, which she was crowned as the winner. Not only did her win bring her national fame, but it also opened doors to various opportunities, including hosting television shows and meeting influential people, one of whom, of course, was Bill Russell. They were immediately drawn to each other, and following a whirlwind romance, they tied the knot in 1977. Their marriage, however, was met with public scrutiny due to the racial differences between the two. They faced opposition, discrimination, and a lot of unfair criticism. Despite this adversity, Bill and Dee Dee remained steadfast in their love for each other. The couple spent many happy years together, traveling, attending numerous events, and enjoying the luxury that Bill's successful NBA career had afforded them. However, as time passed, their relationship started to experience difficulties as well. The pressure from the public, coupled with Bill's public lifestyle, once again began to strain their marriage. And despite trying their best to maintain this relationship, the couple eventually did decide to part ways, and they divorced in 1980, marking the end of only a three-year-long marriage. Bill Russell obviously loved women, and he wanted to share his life with a partner, so in 1996 he tied the knot for a third time with someone named Marilyn Nault. Marilyn Nault was born in 1950 in Concordia, Kansas. With her signature short brown hair, she was a stark contrast from both Rose and Dee Dee. Marilyn attended a Catholic school and later proceeded to work as a sales agent at a jewelry store. She was a private person, leading to a simple life away from the public eye. This changed when she married Bill Russell in 1996, as you can imagine. This marriage marked a new chapter in Bill's life, one that was significantly different from his previous relationships. Marilyn, unlike his former wives, was not in the public eye, and it seemed to suit them both. The couple stayed together until Marilyn's sad death in 2009, just a few weeks before Russell's birthday and their ninth wedding anniversary together, Marilyn Nault Russell passed away from cancer. After her death, Bill Russell dedicated his life to preserving her memory and continuing the love that they had for each other. He became more involved in cancer awareness initiatives, often sharing their story in hopes of educating other people about the disease. Despite the loss, the NBA legend remained strong, instilling within him a deep sense of purpose that kept him going, and in 2016, he married his fourth wife, Janine Russell. Janine Russell, also known as Janine Fiorito and Janine Maddox, is a former professional golfer. She finished 64th on the Canadian Women's Tour in British Columbia and 19th on the one in Ontario in 2010. Like Bill Russell, she also has a Player of the Year award herself in 2010. Her best finish was 15th in 2009 at the Canadian Women's Tour in Seymour. They both love sports and found a common ground in their shared passion. They attended the 2019 NBA Finals together, and despite facing the struggles of aging, they continued to be active, often seen together at public events late into Bill's life. Janine had been a pillar of support for Bill, standing by his side through the highs and lows of his post-NBA life. She has managed to bring peace and stability into his life, something he perhaps missed in his previous relationships. Janine was said to be with Bill until his last breath, providing him with love and companionship in the twilight years of his life. When Bill passed away, Janine remained strong and continued to honor his legacy 
maintaining his contributions to various sports and charitable activities. Bill Russell had a lot of accomplishments on and off the court, and altogether he had a pretty amazing life by all accounts. His family was a big part of that, and it's pretty amazing that his dad especially was able to raise him so well, even with all the adversity the family faced throughout their lives for various reasons. The loss of the mother, um, the racial adversity that was going on in America at the time, it was incredible. Now, what do you think about how this family was able to conquer those demons? Which family member do you think was most important in cultivating a, a great person out of Bill Russell? Not to take any uh, credit away from Bill himself, of course. And yeah, make sure you watch our other video on another famous big man in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that's showing right there, or check out any of our other videos on Basketball Dive. Until next time, stay tuned.